right at the heart of the Nawabo K Shahar Lucknow and today we are covering Jaipuria Institute of Management Lucknow and in front of me today is second year student Gaurav who is going to show me around the campus uh, welcome Gaurav thank you for being part of the KYC series and I'm really excited to roam around and see the campus with you thank you so much Paul and welcome to the campus So Gaurav, uh, to begin with, tell me a little bit about the location of this particular campus. Where is it situated and uh, how easy or difficult is it to travel? Talking about the location of the campus, so it is situated in one of the po posh areas of the city, which is Gomti Nagar. You can say that it, it is at the uh, center of the city or at the heart of the city and we have metro line available here. When you enter this campus, what is the, uh, like you, I can see a lot of uh, greenery that is around, I can see people playing, I can see, you know, very lively kind of an environment with, of course, the usual traffic and the ruckus that's outside. How, how does this prepare you guys, you know, as, as managers, what, what do you suck out of this environment? Basically talking about the environment of the college, so it is very, I would say, uh, it is very busy environment. Uh, we have a lot of pressure initially because we are new to the campus. When we are new to the campus, we explore things. I would say that Jaipuria really focuses on a holistic development. It focuses on your personality grooming. So we have a motto that we have to groom the students. So what we do is we take the classes and we make sure that students are enjoying the curricular activities or extracurricular activities. So you can see that currently exams are also going on, junior batches are attending their classes and at the same time you can see people, some people must be playing cricket, some people are engaged in the uh, badminton court. So we try to focus on every aspect. Right. Tell me a little bit more about the campus, like how big this particular campus is, what are, are the facilities that are available for the students who are roping in? The campus was established in 1995, so we are proud to say that we have around 26 years of ex uh, excellence in this field and uh, the, the size of the campus is around 9.8 acres and it has facilities like we have student lounge where students can just chill and get away from all those hectic schedules and all. We have faculty lounge for the faculties. We have around four faculty cubicles, different cubicles. We have a library, we have an auditorium which has a seating capacity of around 420 plus uh, seats where we sometimes screen movies and sometimes we carry on other cultural events. We have all the facilities here for students to learn and grow. So uh, Gaurav, uh, tell me a little bit more about the kind of courses that are offered in this particular institute. I mean, is there a specific focus that you guys uh, give to any particular uh, course or a framework or you know a particular subject or is it is it like you know a general kind of a, a pedagogy that is followed here? So talking about the programs which we have here, we have basically three major programs. First is PGDM, second is PGDM in financial services and third is PGDM in retail management. So PGDM, actually we have dual specialization here. So we uh, give an opportunity to students to pursue two subjects simultaneously. We have no majors and minors here, all are equal. And we have two specific focuses area. One is PGDM in financial services for students who want to build their career in finance. And we also have PGDM in retail management for students who want to focus into retail sector. And uh, what is the kind of batch size that you're looking at for each of these uh, programs? Actually, uh, the batch size for PGDM is 240. For retail management, it's 60. And for financial services, it is 60. So we have a total strength of 360. Okay, uh, tell me a little bit about uh, the fees that students need to, you know, uh, uh, put forth for uh, acquiring for these programs. So all these programs are two-year programs. For PGDM, the fees is 11 lakhs for two years. For uh, retail management, it is 9.5 lakhs. And for financial services, it is 10 lakhs for two years. Gaurav, uh, one thing that I wanted to know from you is, uh, you know, students really look forward to few things when they are making their selection. And in those things, one thing that is pretty important is that of the kind of rankings, the kind of accreditations, the kind of, uh, you know, notable elements or the highlights that a particular campus has. Uh, what are some of these for this particular institute that uh, you can share with us today? Okay, so talking about accreditations and uh, rankings. So this year we have been ranked 68th uh, by uh, Government of India, NIRF ranking. And we are NAC accredited. We are a A grade college. We are also AICT approved. So we have uh, a lot of accreditations with us and we are trying to improve our ranking. Tell me a little bit uh, about now, you know, uh, the kind of 
eligibility criteria, the kind of admission process that someone needs to go through. So basically we have a three stage filtration process here. The first process is your undergraduation scores. You have to score at least 50 percent and above and the second one is your uh, entrance level score in CAT, MAT, SAT and all. And the third is we go with the GD and PI. In GD we have a case analysis and we see the students and we select on the basis of these three criteria. Right, okay. Gaurav, uh, we'll talk more about the kind of students that are here, the kind of responsibilities you also take, uh, you know, as part of a committee or a club member, uh, what are the kind of companies coming here and a lot more in this particular episode. So let's roam around the campus a little bit more uh, and I'm sure that you can actually show me a few of the undiscovered uh, parts of this campus and we can continue with our chat then. Definitely, definitely. Let's go. Okay, that was a bad shot. Okay, so, uh, you know, carrying forward our own discussion that we left there, uh, I, I, I spoke about an undiscovered place. I'm sure this is not the one. Uh, I'm sure you guys do come in here. Tell me a little bit about this place. This looks like a very funky kind of a space. Okay, so as I already told you, this is our student lounge. Uh, and the fun fact is that faculties never visit it. So students can come here, relax, some sleep, and you can play table tennis, uh, and uh, you can play carom, you can play chess, and all the indoor games we have here. And soon we'll all, uh, we are also bringing a pool table. Okay, so tell me a little bit about uh, the kind of activities and you know the committee work that you guys uh, do here. So we have a student body known as Student Development Council, and it uh, makes sure that all the activities which are related to student are uh, organized in a timely manner. So we have around 13 committees and cells which are a part of SDC and the SDC is headed by a president followed by a vice president and we have 13 different committee cells and coordinators and all then we have junior members and senior members so all the batches involved in this and uh, we have different committees for different roles for example we have academic committee we have sports cell we have cultural cell for cultural activities and we have uh, SRC so social responsibility committee so to do all the social work so we have different committees and cells right uh, and um, any major event or any major you know uh, uh, like a fest that happens to you guys which you guys are all pumped up about and you know wait for for the year yes actually for the first year we have talash and our major uh, uh, fest here is OGS. So already the institute is working towards it, in which we call different bands and celebrities. It is a uh, almost two days fest, and we call or invite institutes all over the uh, India. Talking about that, can you let me know what are the USPs? What are the you know points that makes Jaipuria uh, Lucknow campus as one of the best campuses, or maybe a campus where you know students would like to visit or come to? Okay, so uh, we have a lot of USPs. Some of them which I would like to mention here are, the first one which I would say is mentorship program. So we have a three-tier mentorship program involving our faculties, uh, alumni and all the industry experts. Right. So, so we have uh, regular interventions uh, in which the students are free to approach the faculties, alumni and industry experts. The second USP we have here is Student Development Council, mm -hmm. which I already stated. We have 13 different committees and cells and all the students are encouraged to participate in them. And talking about third USP, which is uh, our uh, Ruler Outreach Program. So we have a three-day program in which we ensure that all the first-year students visit rural areas in which they involve in studying the uh, buying behavior or consumer behavior of rural areas and they involve in uh, different learnings and teachings and they also involve in, uh, we make sure that they talk with the Gram Panchayat of the rural right, areas. Right. I would love to know more about this particular campus, uh, you know, the kind of alumni who have been part of this particular institute and a little more about the kind of companies that visit here. Uh, for now, I think our game has already started and has progressed a lot. Yes. From here, we can move to some other part of the campus and you know explore the bits that are left. Sure, sure. Let's go. Okay, uh, Gaurav, uh, we are here in between the heap. Uh, or the stack of books. I'm not sure how many you have read. Uh, I can see titles that I have not read in my whole life. Uh, so let's, uh, you know, uh, let's let's continue with our discussion. Uh, you know, I was asking you about uh, the kind of life, the kind of, you know, 
uh, career that you can expect from your and and you know the best example for that would be the alumni uh, members that you guys have the people who have already done this course and have been placed in different companies okay so uh, naming a few uh, alumni we have miss prachi bawari she is in crystal limited we have mr manoj pande he is in johnson and johnson and we have mr nishant who is in mckinsey and company and currently he is serving there as a director we have uh, also i'll link this again to student development council as i told you everything is linked to uh, with the students so we have a committee called as alumni relations committee yes. which works around the corner they work really hard and they make sure that we can uh, take advantage of that network the alumni network we have so we have regular events the committee conducts regular events we invite uh, and also one more usp which i would like to uh, add up here is that we make sure that around 10% of our courses are delivered through industry experts right. in which we rope in industry experts and different alumni mm -hmm. so we make sure that alumni come and they uh, uh they look towards the doubts which the students have regarding the sector in which they want to go right and one more aspect that a lot of students uh, look after for for any b school uh, you know uh, curriculum that they take up is the kind of student exchange programs that they can get so is is Jai, uh, jaipuria institute of management in this particular campus providing any such opportunities for students do you know of any such stories where you know students have come and told you about their experiences you know abroad Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, actually, we have tie up with uh, around 14 universities around the globe. Uh, some are from France, from New Zealand, from Bhutan. And uh, last year only, but due to COVID, as we could not visit the institutes uh, uh, on a physical mode, but we had virtual uh, student exchange programs. We had a program with Rennes School of Business, which is in France. So few of my friends uh, virtually completed the uh, uh, program, and it is for almost uh, one com uh, complete trimester. Go abroad to work and experience those things. So these programs really help you. You get to interact with a lot of people, a lot of students who belong to different uh, countries, who belong to different communities. So you interact with them. Uh, learning is there. When it comes to management and all, but also you get a varied range of experiences. You get to stay in different countries. Uh, you get to uh, stay uh, for almost three to four months outside your country. So you also know how you are surviving and what the surviving skills you yeah. need. So these benefit a lot. Right. Uh, that brings me to uh, my last point that I want to discuss with you today, which a lot of students are pretty interested or excited about, and which is. Uh, the kind of salaries that they would get at the end of this program. Talking about this particular institute, what are the kind of companies that visit this uh, campus and what are the kind of figures that we're looking at after the end of two years? Okay, so basically we have six major domains here. We have uh, retail, we have marketing and sales, we have finance, operations, HR and business analytics. So the companies which come here, I would like to name them uh, for finance, uh, they are, there is Deloitte, there is KPMG, EY, the there are various banks like ICSA Bank and uh, there are various uh, analytics companies which come here. For example, EY comes for a consultant role in analytics, same with Deloitte, this year came for those roles. So companies come for various roles. We have some major uh, FMCG giants like Dabur comes here and we also have Amazon which offered the highest salary last year. They offered a CTC of 19 lakhs. And talking about the placements and the salary structure, so we have around 375 plus recruiters. So in a single uh, placement a drive, we uh, more than 350 plus or 375 plus companies participate in a drive. And the average salary last year was 7.34 lakhs. And this year we are seeing an upper curve uh, and most probably the placement season will be great. Lovely. Uh, and all the very best for you also and the batchmates that you have uh, for a great placement uh, ahead. and. I wish you all the luck for the life ahead and the future ahead. That was Gaurav telling us about the Jaipuri Institute of Management Lucknow campus. It was nice knowing this campus, the nooks and corners of this particular place and how students actually live and spend their two years. If you want to know more about the campus, there's a link in the description that you can click on. Uh, tell us in the comments below what you liked about the video and what other colleges you want us to cover in the next episodes. This is me, Paul, signing off.